You should grab an easel and, uh... If a Chevrolet and a Volkswagen had a baby, would it grow up to look like this? It's a 1953 Chevy school bus with a 1969 VW bus on top of it, which allows for more headroom and a bed. Creative talent is only achieved when passion is coupled with hard work. That's what one of my favorite artists once told me. I happen to be wearing a shirt right now, Keegan Sweeney. I think he would definitely agree that this family is living up to that motto. The kids go, Mommy, Mommy, look, look, what's this? Look at this big bus. Let, no, let's, go, let's go talk to these people. It's here for uh, you to just smile at and enjoy. It's actually here for you. Dubbed the Dragonfly Bus by a trucker in Nebraska, he says it drags up hills but flies down them. Artist Heather Platten and husband Leroy Herr, who's a mechanic by trade, travel there. with their two kids and dog, Moonshine. They use it to spread respect, freedom, and of course, love. We live full time in the bus. It's a tiny home and pop up mobile pop up art gallery. We invite people inside to check out the bus. We want to talk about sustainable living, what it's like to be on the road, how it, how it is to live in a tiny house. We try to bring people together, lighten the mood in the country, make people smile. Staying off the grid for six years and building and living in this bus the last two, they stay at national parks sometimes two weeks at a time. 40 hours a week making somebody else's money doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. The couple stresses to students in art classes across the U.S. that a 30-year home mortgage isn't for everyone. For them, spending more time with their kids and being forced to go outside is far more rewarding. $100 to me in the position that I put myself in is a lot. They don't just buy something new when it breaks. If it can be fixed, they fix it. So this is a 40-gallon water cistern, and then I use this pump here to pump the tank, pump pressure up in the tank to get me water. Using solar panels to power the refrigerator and lights along with resources from the woods, they remain mostly self-sufficient. This is where I put my wood in here. The wood fire cook stove is awesome. So it was only natural that a vehicle this unique ventured to our local Cars and Coffee in Maryland to see and feel the vibes this bus spreads at Hunt Valley Horsepower. I think it's very cool. It reminds me of Woodstock. Just you looking at this and you asking yourself, like, what's in there, you being curious yourself, you're kind of opening your mindset towards art. Activating the higher consciousness, your imagination and emotions, everything is tied together. So art could be the accelerant. To get the wheels turning upstairs, they allow anyone to draw anything anywhere on the bus. Why? Because you can't confine creativity. Janice Joplin, I, um, somebody was in, it was in Alexandria, and he looked at me and he said, please put Janice Joplin on your bus. And so I started on her right away. And then Bruce Lee, um, another suggestion. I could not go to one town without people demanding angrily that I put Jerry on the bus. This is the first piece that ever went on the bus. And this was done by somebody else in Austin, Texas. Should you meet the Dragonfly bus, get more artistic than me, and who knows just how many states or people it will spread to and positively impact.